What's up, YouTube? It's JP Dunphy, your BW genius here at BW Fort Washington. In today's video, we're going to be doing a walk around of the brand new 2023 330E e X Drive. So, uh, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I did do a walk around of the entire highlights of this, but I'll give kind of a quick overview of everything that's gone and changed that's different. You know, we have everything from the headlights and whatnot that have changed. Uh, there are no more laser headlights on these cars. Uh, they just come standard with LEDs and LEDs with quarrying lights as an option. You have three new face variants. So this one just being the standard face variant. You can also get the M Sport and the M340i variant, which has its own tail section for it. Uh, the base MSRP of this has grown from 4 43,450 to 44,300, so not too much uh, on that front. You still have our plug-in hybrid section right here. Same size battery. Bloop. J1772 standard. Wheels look nice. Uh, you have four sense attack interior options, black, beige, cognac, and red. This particular one being, yoink, cognac perforated. Yes, music, get it and live it. And live your life and do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job, Ben. Hopefully we don't get YouTube copyrighted for that one. <laughs> All right, moving on to the inside here. As you can see, we now have iDrive 8 as our standard screen on the inside here. By the way, sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I am currently using our gigantic iPad. My phone is uh, broken temporarily, which is why I haven't done some videos lately. Um, on the interior, we have a whole... Ooh, let me pull this back a little bit so I can see a little better. There we go. So we have our whole new center console right here. If you know, if you used to like the gear shifter it's the exact same thing it's just now down here instead of having the park button for park it's now right here for park everything else is the same that you've ever seen on our plug-in hybrid sport hybrid and standard starts in hybrid every single time electric gives you the full uh, electric range uh, electric range ranges from 20 to oh, of course this one has nothing <laughs> i guess we've uh, put a couple test modules on it so i need to plug this thing in regardless um it does uh, range from 20 to 22, depending on whether you have X-Drive. X-Drive being 20 miles of electric range, at least EPA estimated. You can get slightly more, depending on your driving style, or slightly less in the colder temperatures right now. Uh, most of our ones right now, with it being 20 degrees outside, or, oh, sorry, 32 now. It's a little bit nicer. Um, is usually averaging around 18 miles of electric range. So uh, just know cold still does affect these guys a little bit. This particular one does not have the wireless keypad uh, but you can option that in with the digital key option or the wireless charging pad as an option as well uh, in terms of features that are in the car here there are no more power tailgates laser headlights or gesture controls in the 3 series for now that will slowly change as it that's all based on what's currently happening with our supply line, so we do apologize for that. Again, I apologize for the shaky thing. I'm holding a gigantic iPad instead of the normal one. Anywho, going into here, we have everything that we've always expected here. If you look at all of your charging options, boop, boop, boop. You have everything that you expect. So charge immediately up to 16 amps, and that's your level one adjustment right there. Level two is gonna be standard. That takes 3.8 kilowatts. Uh, and we'll completely charge the car on a level two in about two, three and a half hours. In terms of your power increase, you are moving when you get into one of these plug-in hybrids. I do really love this thing. Uh, this one does not have the help display. That is still an option though. Uh, so you can get the help display option. You can actually see exactly where the cutout is for that normally. Um, <clears throat> but what was I just saying? Oh yeah. Um, in terms of power, you do when you go to the 330E, you get an up in power from your standard 255 horsepower to 281 horsepower. Let's hop out and take a look at the rest of the car over here. Whoa. Jimmy Crickets, I feel so old. So. Uh, it has all the same DNA of the previous generation, of the previous uh, pre-LCI on the back here. The only difference being that it's a fresher look and a little bit nicer backside. Uh, of course, having the twin 
exhausts on the back here as well. Sorry, I'm just within range. Uh, if you didn't know, you do still get the level one standard charger for it. This is a small enough bag. Good Lord, that is so, so messy. There's so much stuff in here. Um, four mats. Charger in the back there. Uh, batteries in the back here as well. So you do lose a little bit of box space altogether, but you're only talking about uh, two and a half cubic feet, so it's not horrible for you. If you're using a standard wall outlet, you'll get this thing fully charged in 11 and a half hours. So it's still completely capable of doing this within an overnight charge. So, you know, get home at eight, plug it in. By eight o'clock the next morning, you're fully charged and ready to go. Um, but again, uh, power numbers, 255 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque is the standard. And this guy has 281, 310 pound-feet of torque. That's one of the benefits of having it all done there. If you don't know how these guys work, by the way, uh, the way BMW does their plug-in hybrids is we actually have our main engine in the middle. And then instead of having a separate electric engine to do either the back or the front, we instead sandwich ours in the middle of the between the engine and the transmission. So therefore, when you have an all-wheel drive option like this one, our current X-Drive in front of us, that one will still have all-wheel drive regardless of whether you are in gas or electric mode or hybrid mode for that matter and uh yeah i mean if you're interested in these please do come in test drive them they still drive wonderfully the move from <clears throat> excuse me sorry i got a little something stuck in my throat there <clears> throat> uh the move from the gas to the hybrid setup only adds 353 pounds, which really is not bad at all. Um, and we highly suggest driving them. You can get the M Sport uh, adaptive suspension as an option on this. We had one with that and it drove absolutely fantastically. So if you're looking at this, you kind of want to get into the EV game, but you're a little bit worried about your range anxiety, then this is a great way to kind of step into it get the feel of it, see if you like it, and then maybe in the future, move your way up to BMW's all electric vehicles. So this is not the most intense walkthrough I've ever done on these cars before. Again, if you haven't checked it before, I did do a three series overview going over every single change that has happened from the previous version to the newer one with the latest LCI. And if you like that, I'll link that in the end of this video here. And, uh, yeah, as always, if you found this helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be doing a couple other videos today as well, just to show you um, the various electric cars that we're running these days. So, thanks for being with us. Have a great rest of your day.